First Chronicles, Chapter 24, Divisions of the Levites. These were the divisions of the sons of Aaron. The sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore, Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. David with Zadok of the sons of Eleazar and Ahimelech of the sons of Ithamar divided them according to their ordering in their service. There were more chief men found of the sons of Eleazar than of the sons of Ithamar, and thus were they divided. Of the sons of Eleazar there were sixteen, heads of fathers' houses, and of the sons of Ithamar, according to their fathers' houses, eight. Thus were they divided, impartially, by drawing lots. For there were princes of the sanctuary, and princes of God, both of the sons of Eleazar, and of the sons of Ithamar. Shemaiah, the son of Nethanel, the scribe, who was of the Levites, wrote them in the presence of the king, and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech, the son of Abiathar, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests, and of the Levites, one father's house being taken for Eleazar, and one taken for Ithamar. Now the first lot came forth to Jehoiarib, the second to Judea, the third to Haram, the fourth to Seorim, the fifth to Malchijah, the sixth to Mejamin, the seventh to Hakos, the eighth to Abijah, the ninth to Jeshua, the tenth to Shechaniah, the eleventh to Eliashib, the twelfth to Jacob, the thirteenth to Huppa, the fourteenth to Jeshebib, the fifteenth to Bilga, the sixteenth to Emmer, the seventeenth to Hezer, the eighteenth to Hapazes, the nineteenth to Pethahiah, the twentieth to Jehezkel, the twenty-first to Jachin, the twenty-second to Gamal, the twenty-third to Deleah, the twenty-fourth to Meaziah. This was the ordering of them in their service, to come into the house of Yahweh, according to the ordinance given to them by Aaron their father, as Yahweh, the God of Israel, had commanded him. The Remainder of the Levites Of the rest of the sons of Levi Of the sons of Amram, Shubael Of the sons of Shubael, Jadea Of Rehabiah Of the sons of Rehabiah, Ishiah the chief Of the Israelites, Shalomoth Of the sons of Shalomoth, Jahath The sons of Hebron, Jeriah the chief Amariah the second, Jehaziel the third, Jechameam the fourth, the sons of Uziel, Micah, of the sons of Micah, Shamer, the brother of Micah, Ishiah, of the sons of Ishiah, Zechariah, the sons of Merari, Malai and Mushai, the sons of Jeaziah, Beno, the sons of Merari, of Jeaziah, Beno, and Shoham, and Zachar, and Ibri, of Malai, Eleazar, who had no sons, of Kish, the sons of Kish, Jeramiel, the sons of Mushai, Malai, and Eder, and Jeremoth, these were the sons of the Levites, after their fathers' houses. These likewise cast lots, even as their brothers, the sons of Aaron, in the presence of David the king, and Zadok, and Ahimelech, and the heads of the fathers' houses of the priests, and of the Levites, the fathers' houses of the chief, even as those of his younger brother. Chapter 25 Twenty-four divisions of musicians. Moreover, David and the captains of the army set apart for the service certain of the sons of Asaph and of Heman, 
and of Jeduthun, who should prophesy with harps, with stringed instruments, and with cymbals. And the number of those who did the work according to their service was, of the sons of Asaph, Zachar, and Joseph, and Nethaniah, and Asherelah, the sons of Asaph, under the hand of Asaph, who prophesied after the order of the king. Of Jeduthun, the sons of Jeduthun, Gedaliah, and Zerai, and Jeshiah, Hashabiah, and Metathiah, six, under the hands of their father Jeduthun, with the harp, who prophesied in giving thanks and praising Yahweh. Of Heman, the sons of Heman, Bekiah, Mataniah, Uziel, Shebuel, and Jeremoth, Hananiah, Hanani, Eliatha, Gedaltai, and Ramamtiezer, Joshbekesha, Malathai, Hother, Mahaziath. All these were the sons of Heman, the king's seer, in the words of God, to lift up the horn. God gave to Heman fourteen sons and three daughters. All these were under the hands of their father for song in the house of Yahweh, with cymbals, stringed instruments, and harps, for the service of the house of God, Asaph, Jeduthun, and Heman, being under the order of the king. The number of them, with their brothers, who were instructed in singing to Yahweh, even all who were skillful, was 288. They cast lots for their offices, all alike, as well the small as the great, the teacher as the scholar. Now the first lot came forth for Asaph to Joseph, the second to Gedaliah. He and his brothers and sons were twelve, the third to Zachar, his sons and his brothers twelve, the fourth to Isri, his sons and his brothers twelve, the fifth to Nethaniah, his sons and his brothers twelve, the sixth to Bekiah, his sons and his brothers twelve, the seventh to Jeshurelah, his sons and his brothers twelve, the eighth to Jeshiah, his sons and his brothers twelve, the ninth to Metaniah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. The tenth to Shimei, his sons and his brothers, twelve. The eleventh to Azarel, his sons and his brothers, twelve. The twelfth to Hashabiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the thirteenth, Shubael, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the fourteenth, Mattathiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the fifteenth, to Jeremoth, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the sixteenth, to Hananiah, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the seventeenth, to Joshbekesha, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the eighteenth, to Hanani his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the nineteenth, to Malathi, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the twentieth, to Eliatha, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the one and twentieth, to Hother, his sons and his brothers, twelve. For the two and twentieth, to Gedaltai, his sons and his brothers, Twelve, for the three and twentieth to Mahaziath, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, for the four and twentieth to Romam to Ezer, his sons and his brothers. Twelve, chapter twenty-six, the divisions of the gatekeepers, for the divisions of the doorkeepers, of the Korahites, Meshelamiah the son of Cori, of the sons of Asaph. Meshelamiah had sons, 
Zechariah, the firstborn, Jediel, the second, Zebadiah, the third, Jathniel, the fourth, Elam, the fifth, Jehohanan, the sixth, Eliahoenai, the seventh, Obed Edom had sons, Shemaiah, the firstborn, Jehozabad, the second, Joah, the third, and Sachar the fourth, and Nethanel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peulathai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to Shemaiah his son were sons born, who ruled over the house of their father, for they were mighty men of valor. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni and Raphael, and Obed, Elzabad, whose brothers were valiant men, Elihu and Semachiah, all these were of the sons of Obed-Edom, they and their sons and their brothers, able men in strength for the service, sixty-two of Obed-Edom. Meshelemiah had sons and brothers, valiant men, eighteen, also Hosa, of the children of Morari had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, yet his father made him chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth. All the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. Of these were the divisions of the doorkeepers, even of the chief men, having offices like their brothers, to minister in the house of Yahweh. They cast lots, the small as well as the great, according to their father's houses. For every gate, the lot eastward fell to Shelemiah. Then for Zechariah his son, a wise counselor, they cast lots, and his lot came out northward, to Obed-Edom, southward, and to his sons the storehouse, to Shepham and Hosa westward, by the gate of Shalakath, at the causeway that goes up, watch against watch. Eastward were six Levites, northward for a day, southward for a day, and for the storehouse two and two, for Parbar westward, four at the causeway, and two at Parbar, these were the divisions of the doorkeepers, of the sons of the Korahites, and of the sons of Merari, the treasurers of the Levites. Ahijah was over the treasures of the house of God, and over the treasures of the dedicated things. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonites, belonging to Laden, the heads of the father's houses, belonging to Laden the Gershonite, Jehiali, the sons of Jehiali, Zetham, and Joel his brother, over the treasures of the house of Yahweh, of the Amramites, of the Izharites, of the Hebronites, of the Uzielites, and Shebuel, the son of Gershom, the son of Moses, was ruler over the treasures, his brothers. Of Eliezer came Rehabiah, his son, and Jeshea, his son, and Joram, his son, and Zechri, his son, and Shalomoth, his son. This Shalomoth and his brothers were over all the treasures of the dedicated things, which David the king and the heads of the father's houses, the captains over thousands and hundreds, and the captains of the army, had dedicated. Out of the spoil won in battles did they dedicate to repair the house of Yahweh, all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah, had dedicated. Whoever had dedicated anything, it was under the hand of Shalomoth and of his brothers, officers and judges of the Israelites. Kenaniah and his sons were for the outward business over Israel, for officers and judges. 
of the Hebronites, Hashabiah and his brothers, men of valor, 1,700, had the oversight of Israel beyond the Jordan westward, for all the business of Yahweh and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites was Jerijah, the chief, even of the Hebronites, according to their generations by fathers' houses. In the fortieth year of the reign of David they were sought for, and there were found among them mighty men of valor at Jazer of Gilead. His brothers, men of valor, were two thousand seven hundred, heads of fathers' houses, whom King David made overseers over the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of the Manassites, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. Chapter 27 The Twelve Captains for Each Month Now the children of Israel, after their number, the heads of fathers' houses, and the captains of thousands and of hundreds, and their officers who served the king, in any matter of the divisions which came in and went out month by month throughout all the months of the year, of every division were twenty-four thousand. Over the first division for the first month was Jashubim, the son of Zabdiel, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. He was of the children of Perez, the chief of all the captains of the army for the first month. Over the division of the second month was Dodai, the Ahohite, and his division, and Mikloth, the ruler, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The third captain of the army for the third month was Benaiah, the son of Jehoiada, the priest, chief, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. This is that Benaiah who was the mighty man of the thirty, and over the thirty, and of his division was Amizabad, his son. The fourth captain for the fourth month was Asahel, the brother of Joab, and Zebadiah his son after him, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The fifth captain for the fifth month was Shemhuth, the Israelite, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The sixth captain for the sixth month was Ira, the son of Ikish, the Tekoite, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The seventh captain for the seventh month was Helez the Pelonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The eighth captain for the eighth month was Sibachai the Hushathite of the Zerahites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The ninth captain for the ninth month was Abiezer, the Anathothite of the Benjamites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The tenth captain for the tenth month was Meharai, the Natophathite of the Zerahites, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The eleventh captain for the eleventh month was Benaiah, the Pirithonite of the children of Ephraim, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The twelfth captain for the twelfth month was Heldai, the Netophathite of Othniel, and in his division were twenty-four thousand. The leaders of the twelve tribes, furthermore over the tribes of Israel, of the Reubenites was Eliezer, the son of Zikri, the ruler, of the Simeonites, Shephatiah, the son of Maacah, of Levi, Hashabiah, the son of Kemuel, of Aaron, Zadok, of Judah, Elihu, one of the brothers of David, of Issachar, Omri, the son of Michael, of Zebulun, Ishmael, the son of Obadiah, of Naphtali, Jeremoth, the son of Azrael, of the children of Ephraim, Hoshea, the son of Azaziah, of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Joel, the son of Podeah, 
of the half-tribe of Manasseh in Gilead, Iddo, the son of Zechariah, of Benjamin, Jeaziel, the son of Abner, of Dan, Azarel, the son of Jeroham. These were the captains of the tribes of Israel. But David didn't take the number of them from twenty years old and under, because Yahweh had said he would increase Israel like the stars of the sky. Joab, the son of Zeruiah, began to number, but didn't finish. And there came wrath for this on Israel. Neither was the number put into the account in the chronicles of King David. David's Various Officers over the king's treasures was Asmaveth, the son of Adiel, and over the treasures in the fields, in the cities, and in the villages, and in the towers, was Jonathan, the son of Uzziah. Over those who did the work of the field for tillage of the ground was Ezri, the son of Caleb, and over the vineyards was Shimei, the Ramathite, and over the increase of the vineyards for the wine cellars was Zabdi, the Shifmite. And over the olive trees and the sycamore trees that were in the lowland was Baal Hanan, the Gedarite. And over the cellars of oil was Joash. And over the herds that fed in Sharon was Shithri, the Sharonite. And over the herds that were in the valleys was Shaphat the son of Adlai, and over the camels was Obil, the Ishmaelite, and over the donkeys was Judea, the Moronothite, and over the flocks was Jazes, the Hagrite. All these were the rulers of the substance, which was King David's, the counselors. Also Jonathan, David's uncle, was a counselor a man of understanding, and a scribe. And Jehiel, the son of Hagmoni, was with the king's sons. Ahithophel was the king's counselor, and Hushai, the archite, was the king's friend. And after Ahithophel was Jehoiada, the son of Benaiah, and Abiathar, and the captain of the king's army was Joab. Chapter 28 David's Address About the Temple David assembled all the princes of Israel, the princes of the tribes, and the captains of the companies who served the king by division, and the captains of thousands, and the captains of hundreds, and the rulers over all the substance and possessions of the king and of his sons, with the officers and the mighty men, even all the mighty men of valor, to Jerusalem. Then David the king stood up on his feet and said, Hear me, my brothers and my people. As for me, it was in my heart to build a house of rest for the ark of the covenant of Yahweh and for the footstool of our God. And I had prepared for the building. But God said to me, you shall not build a house for my name, because you are a man of war and have shed blood. However, Yahweh, the God of Israel, chose me out of all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. For he has chosen Judah to be prince, and in the house of Judah, the house of my father, and among the sons of my father, he took pleasure in me, to make me king over all Israel, of all my sons, for Yahweh has given me many sons. He has chosen Solomon, my son, to sit on the throne of Yahweh's kingdom over Israel. He said to me, Solomon, your son, shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. I will establish his kingdom forever if he continues to do my commandments and my ordinances as at this day. Now, therefore, in the sight of all Israel, the assembly of Yahweh, and in the audience of our God, 
observe and seek out all the commandments of Yahweh your God, that you may possess this good land and leave it for an inheritance to your children after you forever. David's Charge to Solomon You, Solomon, my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For Yahweh searches all hearts and understands all the imaginations of the thoughts. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Take heed now, for Yahweh has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. Then David gave to Solomon his son the pattern of the porch of the temple, and of its houses, and of its treasuries, and of the upper rooms of it, and of the inner rooms of it, and of the place of the mercy seat, and the pattern of all that he had by the Spirit, for the courts of the house of Yahweh, and for all the surrounding rooms, for the treasuries of the house of God, and for the treasuries of the dedicated things, also for the divisions of the priests and the Levites, and for all the work of the service of the house of Yahweh, and for all the vessels of service in the house of Yahweh, of gold by weight for the vessels of gold, for all vessels of every kind of service, of silver for all the vessels of silver by weight, for all vessels of every kind of service, by weight also for the lampstands of gold, and for its lamps of gold, by weight for every lampstand, and for its lamps, and for the lampstands of silver, silver by weight for every lampstand, and for its lamps, according to the use of every lampstand, and the gold by weight for the tables of showbread, for every table, and silver for the tables of silver, and the forks, and the basins, and the cups of pure gold, and for the golden bowls by weight for every bowl, and for the silver bowls by weight for every bowl, and for the altar of incense refined gold by weight, and gold for the pattern of the chariot, even the cherubim, that spread out their wings and covered the ark of the covenant of Yahweh. All this, said David, I have been made to understand in writing from the hand of Yahweh, even all the works of this pattern. David said to Solomon his son, Be strong and courageous and do it. Don't be afraid nor be dismayed, for Yahweh God, even my God is with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of Yahweh is finished. Behold, there are the divisions of the priests and the Levites for all the service of the house of God. There shall be with you in all kinds of work every willing man who has skill for any kind of service. Also, the captains and all the people will be entirely at your command. Chapter 29 Offerings for the Temple David the king said to all the assembly, Solomon, my son, whom alone God has chosen, is yet young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for Yahweh God. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God, the gold for the things of gold, and the silver for the things of silver, and the brass for the things of brass, the iron for the things of iron, and wood for the things of wood, onyx stones, and stones to be set, stones for inlaid work, and of various colors, and all kinds of precious stones, and marble stones in abundance. In addition, because I have set my affection on the house of my God, 
since I have a treasure of my own, of gold and silver. I give it to the house of my God, over and above all that I have prepared for the holy house, even three thousand talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and seven thousand talents of refined silver, with which to overlay the walls of the houses, of gold for the things of gold, and of silver for the things of silver, and for all kinds of work to be made by the hands of artificers. Who then offers willingly to consecrate himself this day to Yahweh? Then the princes of the fathers' houses, and the princes of the tribes of Israel, and the captains of thousands, and of hundreds, with the rulers over the king's work, offered willingly. And they gave for the service of the house of God of gold five thousand talents, and ten thousand derricks, and of silver ten thousand talents, and of brass eighteen thousand talents, and of iron a hundred thousand talents. They with whom precious stones were found gave them to the treasure of the house of Yahweh, under the hand of Jehiel the Gershonite. Then the people rejoiced, because they offered willingly, because with a perfect heart they offered willingly to Yahweh. And David the king also rejoiced with great joy. David's Prayer of Praise Therefore David blessed Yahweh before all the assembly, and David said, You are blessed, Yahweh, the God of Israel, our Father, forever and ever. Yours, Yahweh, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For all that is in the heavens and in the earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, Yahweh, and you are exalted as head above all. Both riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. And in your hand is power and might, and it is in your hand to make great and to give strength to all. Now, therefore, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly as this? For all things come from you, and of your own have we given you. For we are strangers before you, and foreigners, as all our fathers were. Our days on the earth are as a shadow, and there is no remaining. Yahweh, our God, all this store that we have prepared to build you a house for your holy name comes from your hand and is all your own. I know also, my God, that you try the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. As for me, in the uprightness of my heart, I have willingly offered all these things. Now have I seen with joy your people that are present here offer willingly to you. Yahweh, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Israel, our fathers, Keep this forever in the imagination of the thoughts of the heart of your people, and prepare their heart for you. And give to Solomon, my son, a perfect heart, to keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, and to do all these things, and to build the palace for which I have made provision. David said to all the assembly, Now, Bless Yahweh, your God. All the assembly blessed Yahweh, the God of their fathers, and bowed down their heads and prostrated themselves before Yahweh and the king. Solomon anointed king. They sacrificed sacrifices to Yahweh and offered burnt offerings to Yahweh. On the next day after that day, even one thousand bulls, 1,000 rams and 1,000 lambs with their drink offerings and sacrifices in abundance for all Israel.
and ate and drank before Yahweh on that day with great gladness. They made Solomon, the son of David, king the second time, and anointed him to Yahweh to be prince, and Zadok to be priest. Then Solomon sat on the throne of Yahweh as king instead of David his father, and prospered, and all Israel obeyed him. All the princes, the mighty men, and also all of the sons of King David submitted themselves to Solomon, the king. Yahweh magnified Solomon exceedingly in the sight of all Israel and bestowed on him such royal majesty as had not been on any king before him in Israel. David's Reign and Death Now David, the son of Jesse, reigned over all Israel. The time that he reigned over Israel was forty years. He reigned seven years in Hebron, and thirty-three years reigned he in Jerusalem. He died in a good old age, full of days, riches, and honor. And Solomon, his son, reigned in his place. Now the acts of David the king, first and last, Behold, they are written in the history of Samuel the seer, and in the history of Nathan the prophet, and in the history of Gad the seer, with all his reign and his might, and the times that went over him, and over Israel, and over all the kingdoms of the countries.